Developing right now, there's a proposal on the table to spend more than a million dollars to upgrade SAPD patrol cars with bulletproof glass. This is video from last August where two SAPD officers were shot, one of them critically, when a bullet went through the windshield into the officer's eye. Good evening, I'm Mandy Noel. I'm Jonathan Martinez. Just last year, more than $200,000 was approved to upgrade more than 200 SAPD vehicles with bulletproof glass. But now the department wants to upgrade all of its vehicles. News 4 San Antonio's Ethan Trejo went to ask questions today about the cost and when the money could be approved. SAPD is asking for more money to install bulletproof glass on their windshields and their side panel windows. That'll be installed on their more than 700 units. So it'll be okay. a lengthy process. Lengthy, costly, but worth it to protect officers. If you remember last year, we had Officer Red Shellquist that was uh, shot through the windshield. Uh, we've had several officers that, that that's happened to. Uh, Bobby Decker was killed uh, with a bullet going through the windshield uh, off of 181. Uh, that's the reason why. Danny Diaz, president of the San Antonio Police Officers Association, says the other departments already have bulletproof windshields on their units. We're trying to catch up to other departments across the country. Here are the numbers. The project would be a three-year contract costing a little more than $1.5 million per year. That money will come from the city's general fund and its equipment and renewal fund. Diaz says the SAPOA is willing to fight for this so more officers can come home safe. We're, we're trying to do what's right by our members and by the police officers that protect this community. And if bulletproof windshields is, is something that's needed, uh, then absolutely we're going to ask for it. It's a lengthy process to get that money approved by the city. The official proposal will go in front of city council in September. That means the contract could end up starting in October. Assistant Director of the SAPD Richard Riley says that if the proposal goes through on time, SAPD vehicles could be bulletproof by January of 2025. Ethan Trejo, News 4, San Antonio.